when I came out here, my initial goal was to be here only for 30 minutes. But I realized that uh, I will not be able to finish what I want to say for this particular segment. Uh, last week, I make an appeal that there is something big that is coming. Most of us have been asking us to escalate the struggle to take it to a different level. I actually make an appeal and give a definite sum of amount that I want our people to become part of what we have built so far to this level. That was not all we need, but we needed our people to put in something within that level. I can assure you that many have not done that so far. And if you are watching me and you are here, before I go off the air, please, pick up pick up the bank account and see whatever you can do. We are not going to get the Southern Cameroons by sharing just our videos, by sharing just pictures, by sharing just audios, or by writing on chat groups and making phone calls. No. We will get it only when we change our mentality into full-scale war. In other words, the topic we're supposed to have today was a simple question. Is it an uprising or a liberation struggle? Because these are two things. The reason why we still find our brothers, our sisters, can sit and they call for dialogue. When dialogue has long gone, we are not talking about the issue of a negotiated settlement. Is because we have not been funding the war efforts. My people, I cannot tell you how difficult it is to prosecute a war especially this type of war with a very barbaric and satanic system. Look, the, the difference between Paul Beer and Adolf Hitler, it is name and nationality. Partly also the period in which they are living. They are, they are the same set of people. In other words, I'm trying to tell you that we are fighting a very vicious system. Us is not just war. There is one they talk, they talk of the engagements of war. Paul Beer and his people have gone above the normal engagements of war when fighting us. It's to show you the level of barbarism that comes from these people. What are we doing, my people? What are we doing? What exactly are we doing? I asked a question the other day. We asked for $10,000. I can't tell you at this moment that I'm talking to you that 2000 has entered that coffers. No, I'll be lying from the people. And those who have even sent in some monies are in the UK. They're in the UK. So the question I want to ask is, do we know what it means to prosecute a war? Do you know that there are soldiers, our own forces who are wounded? How do you think they get treated? How do you think they feed? We have female soldiers, elite female soldiers. Do you know that they need to buy stuff for their hygiene? They are in their own camps? Do you know that? Do you think to prosecute a war is all about granite and iron? I don't even need to talk about the issue of communication, which is a serious issue. So are we prosecuting an uprising or a liberation war? Because in an uprising, it could be like what happened in Egypt. You see, the Egyptians lost. The Egyptian population lost the Egyptian uprising. Because at the end of the day, they replaced one military officer to another one. That is what they did. But that was not their initial goal. They failed in the uprising. It is just like the uprising that was taking place in China. Where students were mauled at Tiananmen Square. It failed. There was an uprising that succeeded at Trimasoa. Trimasoa is in Romania, Trimasoa. When Nikolai Ceausescu was overthrown, that was a successful uprising. That was a successful uprising. The French Revolution was a successful uprising. We are not in an uprising. We have no business to do with Yaoundé. We don't want to change the politics up there. We are not interested in what they do there. This is a war of liberation. And the war of liberation is the highest of all wars in the world. It is the most difficult. Because those who always hold you they have something so dear that they see in you that they know if they let you go, they on their own are finished. So they'll prefer to finish every one of you.
to make sure they take hold of that stuff. You see how dangerous our situation is. We cannot liberate ourselves by becoming experts in sharing videos, even fake videos, which could even undermine our story. They are sharing them. So if you are not careful, you can take a fake video and send to a government official somewhere. And the moment they discover there is one fake video among six good videos, they start suspecting that, hey, you are not serious. They can no longer treat you seriously. That you are spreading fake videos. So we have all of these things put together. Let us stop accusing one another and fund the struggle because some of us are experts in trying to throw insults from left to no. Fund the struggle. Fund the war effort. It's not cheap. It is not. It is not cheap for one second. And Larry Popik is aware of that. Our own brothers and sisters who are still running businesses in La Republic, they are bent on not funding the struggle. Some of them have become federalists or ten federalists overnight. And the worst thing is, they want to invest in the struggle. They don't want to be part of the struggle like Southern Cameroonians and Bazonians. No. They want to come in like as if they are foreign business people who want to put in their monies hoping that they will benefit tomorrow. That is why they are not putting in the money. Because today they have not seen the green light out. Oh, we are succeeding. So they can't put in anything. Hoping to reap what? Hoping to reap what? How can you win a match if you don't play it? The other team has not forfeited the match. So how are you going to win it? Because if they forfeit it, that's different. They are still in the field of play. They are driving the car. They are bus to go play the match. Why we are on the way going also to play the match? The only thing that can make us lose that match is if we have an accident and we don't report it. Or we don't just go at all. But if we have a car punctured, a tire issue, we can report it and they can replay the match some other day. You don't win a match when the other side has not forfeited it. They give it to you like that. No. Oh yes, the other side have put in wrong players in this match. What do I mean by wrong players? They have gone above and beyond the war, the, 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 the normal norms of war. That is true. But we are not the ones to call them out. It is the so-called international community. They are still sleeping and dreaming. They are getting a bad dream. They are not yet up. Something big is coming. You will hear it. You will see it. We need to up our game. We cannot run a liberation war by thinking about all anglophone conference by thinking about first october by thinking about election no when we do that we'll be working on the timetable of these people i've never seen anywhere where people make a, a liberation struggle to become the timetable of the others no this is not a stopgap measure we prepare our war strategy and we follow it to the letter if we do our jobs all churches we closed during war churches don't go on because you either want to kill the pastors whom they are already killing jailing some of them or you want the parishioners to be killed all churches are supposed to be closed this is reality during war off licenses and bars don't open during war markets don't exist because that is where vandals will come in like la republic du cameroon and start raping and killing our people are we at war Oh, did we just want to show the world that we are angry with what La Republic is doing to us? Because that is what I don't get it. Because it looks as if some people thought that we should just let them know how angry we are. No, we have passed that level. This is a liberation struggle. We got to fund it. It's simple. If I err, it affects all of you. You err, it affects all of us. Let us stop dreaming and thinking that it is just marching. No, we need to fight. And we should be prepared for the consequences of war. War is not a good thing. It's not good. Especially the one that was imposed upon us. Imposed upon us. We don't even have a friendly country on our west. We don't have it. So we are held in between. We must fight more than Spartans. Are you hearing me? We must fight more than Spartans. We must find more than Spartans. 
All those who betrayed the citizens of La Republic of Cameroon are forgotten. But people still remember Ernest Owangi, whom Jean Fauchivé came and tied a cloth on his face for him to be shot in Bafoussan. He stood for something bigger than himself. At least he's from La Republic du Cameroon. I don't want to use somebody else from somewhere. I'm talking of somebody who comes from our neighbors who are attacking us. We must do something bigger. My people, we need to do something bigger. Donate for the war efforts. Donate. You can go to any of the groups and donate as you are donating. I've not asked for anything. I asked for 10,000. Tomorrow, I can assure you that many of you will come out and say that, oh, doctor has come out again. They have done it again. This is wonderful. But if you don't become part of it, to hold it, to take control of it, to own it, how do you think we are going to achieve it? Yes, we will achieve it. But it's going to take a very long duration. It's going to take a very long duration. This is war. One last thing. Those of us who are out here, we are organizing Bakure Convention. Santambo Convention. I hear that Pinyin is coming here. Momo is somewhere in the UK. Bafut are coming. Um, there is an Oroko one that will be holding in Chicago. Whether the Ejagam or the Kenyan or is the Manu Convention is also going to hold. When the Eritians were meeting during the Eritian War, what do you think they, they used to meet in the Eritian groups and discuss? Do you think they used to go and meet and talk about how they are going to arrange their funds palace? How they need to arrange for pipe bone water? How they need to dig pit toilet in the market? Or they, there are four sheds in the market that are down in the village who need to fix it? No! Every time they meet is 100% on the war effort against mighty Ethiopia. That is it. There are many of you, my people, who will fly to Maryland to come attend conventions. Just check how much you pay for your flight. And see whether that amount you pay for the flight is equal to the same amount you contribute for the war effort. Check it. I don't need to be in your pocket. And ask yourself, what exactly are you doing to push the struggle forward? Because you can shout unity from morning to night. You see me here. I just met with brother Chris Arno. I also just met with uh, uh, Mola Sako. I cannot even tell you the people I've just met with. I can give you names here. Because I talk to everybody. I have one goal. Free Ambazonia. I call myself, Papa Ambazonia, they call me. Is that I want to bring everybody together. We have grievances a lot. That is true. I want to bring everybody together. Because when the elephants fight, it is the grass that suffers. But you must support the war effort. Don't give yourself some titles and call yourself House of Lords and the rest. Support the war effort. Look, my people, this thing is not going anywhere. You don't support it now, you support it tomorrow. You see, some people say, oh, doctor, they have, they have kidnapped my husband. Oh, doctor, they have taken my brother-in-law. Doctor, oh, they have taken my sister's, uh, 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 my, my, my sister's daughter. Oh, doctor, they have done this. My people, I've intervened in cases where I don't even know which group has done what. All because I want to make sure that as a father, I am there for everybody. Either I succeed in resolving it or I don't succeed. I have to do my own part of the job. But ask yourself this simple question. Freedom and tyranny, which is better? Let's be frank. When you are free, even when you don't have food to eat, you live a better life. You live a better life. It is important we fund the world effort. I follow every discussion online. I don't go online because I have a team that listens to what people say and all what not. I am trying to make sure that my junior brothers like Eric Tato, Barretta and the others, I can help to arrange some of the things they are doing so that we make sure that we don't, we don't 
continue to throw out some of important information that they have that can help even the forces on the ground out there. I'm working on that behind the scene. I don't even sleep for two hours a day. You receive not just calls from the soldiers. You are seeing their wounds. You are thinking on how they have to be treated. You are thinking on how they have to be fed. And then there are others who are calling you to ask you, Doctor, you received this invitation. What do you think? Doctor, what about this? It is not an easy job, my people. If one was doing this job under salary, one would have been in trouble because the overtime would have been too much. We are all volunteers. We must take this to a conclusive end. A positive conclusive end. But I've told you people, this is not going to end anytime soon. But I am very optimistic that it will end with what we want. Freedom. But we must work for it. We must sweat for it. We must sacrifice for it. We must do whatever is possible for us to have it. Because the story is simple. Southern Cameroons must win this war. Therefore, I will walk. I will serve. I will save. I will sacrifice. I will endure. I will fight cheerfully. And do my utmost. Even unto death. As if the issue of the whole struggle depended on me alone. So, help me God. That is exactly the oath everybody should take every day. Get up every day, in the afternoon, in the evening. Just as the soccer defiants are doing that on the ground and fighting. And swear that oath to you and your God. I don't know which God you have. It could be the traditional one or what. But swear that off to you and your God. That Southern Cameroons must win this war. Therefore, I will walk. I will serve. I will save. I will sacrifice. I will endure. I will fight cheerfully. Because what we are doing here, we are fighting cheerfully. When I'm saying these things, the fighting is not only the physical. It is the fighting we are doing by getting engaged in it. I will fight cheerfully and do my utmost, even unto death, as if the issue of the whole struggle depended on me alone. I will work. What does that mean? The things you do every day for the struggle, the phone calls you make, nobody pays your B. You put in the bills, you make phone calls. You, you, you put in data, you send data for, to others down there. That is what it means by work. I will serve. It's like being a servant to the people. Nobody should call themselves a master. We are all supposed to serve each one of you. And you also have to serve us. I will save. Save means if you see a Southern Cameroonian and Ambazonian in danger. Forget about it. You have argued with him or her on the social media. Make sure you save them. From the house of the talks of La Republic. In one way or the other. The soldiers are doing that, that no forces, no soldier will be left behind. That means to save them. It equally means you will save the liberation struggle. When you see that it is going down, you will do something to save it. That is what it means. I will sacrifice. That is the highest of all. It means you will give in everything. You will not only give in the one that you don't want any longer. No. When you talk of sacrifice, it means the last $200 that you have. You have some friends coming to visit you. Rather than go and buy red wine for them, you will put in that $200. When your friends come, you say, my brothers, I sacrificed my last $200 to, put, to give to my people. I can't give you red wine. I have bottles of water to drink or I have water, tap, tap water. And they themselves will sacrifice their own cash instead of buying wine to say, take an add to your people's struggle. That is sacrifice. Sacrifice means you keep your phone open. Even at 2 a.m., you are able to receive calls from ground zero from your fellow Southern Cameroonians or Ambazonians. Sacrifice means you do away with some of the things that you love so much. Going to nightclub, going to a soccer match, you try at times to give it away to make sure that you don't go and attend Cameroon party. 
You don't go and attend X or Y convention at the same time when there is something you need to do for your people. You can even try some of those things when there is nothing there. But when it comes between going for an Ambazonian meeting, whether online or what, or a Cameroonian meeting, or a Bafut meeting, or whatsoever, you have to choose the Ambazonian meeting. That is sacrifice. I will end you. And you means no matter the insults you receive, no matter the threats, no matter the craziness out there, you are not going to give up. Whether it is coming from La Republic or it's coming from me or some other person, you see it as personal. You will stay the line. You will say, no way, I'm not giving up. That is what it means by I will end you. It means you go be Kankwe as Obas and said. You will be like that stone in the water. Nyango Namuna, that nothing can shake it, you will be there. That say all what you want to say, throw the kitchen sink on me, threaten me, insult me, create fake profiles and say all what you want to say. Go out there and even tell lies, I am not going anywhere. I am in this fight to the end. That is what it means, I will endure. I will fight cheerfully. Do you know what it means to fight cheerfully? It means in everything you do for this struggle, as angry as you are, you always find a means to be cheerful. That there are times that you see some insult, you only laugh. That there are times that some crazy things, you just say, ah, forget about that. That is what it means. I will fight cheerfully. For the soldiers, they know what it means. It means when they go to the battlefront, they're not going there because they must come back alive. They're going there because they want to save their homeland. And when they fall in the battlefront, they will be safe by their comrades, their comrades. I beg your pardon. Even unto death, it is the highest level of sacrifice you can ever give. Even unto death, as if the issue of the whole struggle depended on me alone. My people, I can sit here the whole day. You know me already and you understand what I'm saying. I thank you all for watching. Please, share the video. Go to it, select the portions you think are important. You can tape them, record them, and share them out. But remember this. We have to do whatever it takes to free our homeland. But as we are doing it, we must equally accept that we are not perfect. I told you I had some meetings. A few, I just had one in, in, my, in my sitting room here before I came downstairs. So people should not, you people should not just sit out there and think that, oh, these people are fighting one another. No, forget about what you see out there. Not everything you see out there is true. Please. I am begging you people. We are not perfect people, but we are choosing people. We are choosing. I've given you examples of all the difficulties we have gone through. We never gave up. We never. You might not believe in God. Yes. But believe that we are a choosing people. I can say this and say this time and again. Nobody suffers paralysis for three years and gets treated without any medication. That he got up one day, the stick is moving with bread into two. That happens only when they say miracle has occurred. We are choosing people. I can assure you that. We are choosing people. I say this with every breath I have in me. We are not a perfect people. Because the choosing people doesn't mean they are perfect. We are a choosing people. And we cannot run away from our responsibility. When we become free, the true freedom of Africa will begin. Our freedom will begin with the liberation of Africa. Africa is not yet liberated though. It will begin with the liberation of Africa. I don't know whether I'm going to be there at that time. But I am not worried. I know I have played and I'm still playing my own path. And when they come for me and that time comes, I will go with joy. Knowing that I have laid a solid foundation for each one of you. I'm not worried. 
My life is not important. I can't run away from death. Just as I can't run away from you, my people. I can be angry. I can be vexed. But I can't change who I am. I am you. You are me. There's no way out. You didn't create it. That is how it happened. I can't. Just as I told my people today. That I am a Bakurian. They can't run away from me. They will listen to me whether they like it or not. They will listen to the truth. When I am done. Just take five minutes of your time. If you are driving, stop your car by the roadside and talk to your God. If you are in Gomba house, stop whatever incantation you are making and reverse your message to the gods. I say five minutes, not more than five. And you will see a gleaming light in your, in your life. By the time you finish talking, even by the roadside, you are on your car. You are going to have cold shivers on your body. You will call me and let me know. You will tell the people it happened. You will feel cold shivers on your body. That is to tell you that this is a choosing struggle. Nobody can play with it. Nobody. It is going to happen. Recite your oath every moment that you have an opportunity. Fun. the liberation struggle. I want to be sure that when I'm coming back here next week, the information I'm going to give to you people should be something that will bring down the walls when you hear it. Please fund it. And you will get the first major step of crossing that line. Our liberation is not going to come from the West. It will come from Mama Africa. And that is what we are doing now. Please, do your part. We will do our part. I love each one of you. And even when you attack me and insult me, I know very well that. You do not do it because that is who you are. You are frustrated by this present situation that you find yourself and the rest of us find ourselves. So I understand you very well. And I get it. That is why I don't let my anger for the sun to set with it. Take good care of yourself. Be your neighbor's keeper wherever you are. Whether in Belgium or wherever. Be your neighbor's keeper. Always remember that. This is a choosing struggle. May God bless you. For those of you back home. The great fighters. Who might be lucky to watch me. May God look kindly upon you. May he continue to protect each one of you. In your going out to battle and your coming back from battle. May he provide to us the possibility to treat our wounded. May he provide to us the possibility to feed our hungry. May he provide to us the possibility for each one of you, the young men and women, our dads and moms, to have the possibility to defend our homeland. To protect us and create a better situation for our future generation. May he do that because you are a choosing people for this is a choosing liberation struggle. May God save us all until we meet again. Good night, good afternoon, and good morning to those of you in Southeast Asia. I'll talk to you again some other time. Hopefully, it will be more better than this. Thank you. Southern Cameroons must win this war. Therefore, I will walk. I will serve. I will save. I will sacrifice. I will endure. I will fight cheerfully. And do my utmost. Even unto death. As if the issue. Of the whole struggle. Depended on me alone. So. Help me God.
Papa Ambazonia is signing off. I'm sorry to leave you. Thank you.